story of that, what really illustrates why events like this are important. Uh, we were doing a, basically a, a welcome home rally this morning in Saco uh, in conjunction with this event today. Uh, we had a, a number of flags and different uh, posters out for welcoming home our, our veterans. Um, and we had an incident happen as we were setting up for the rally. Uh, we had somebody drive by, uh, stop their car, roll down their window, and to somebody who clearly had uh, a Vietnam vet hat on, uh, basically scolded them and used very sort of inappropriate language uh, to that individual. It was despicable. And that's just one example of why we need to continue to raise awareness, why we need to continue to make sure that the next generation understands your service, understands what you, what you gave to this country. And I know that was an eye-opening experience for me, but it's probably not unlike many experiences that you've gone through. And, and, and that's not okay. And so that's why this is important, that's why showing up here today is important, and that's why we need to continue to have rallies, we need to continue to have events like this to educate the public and get the next generation understanding what service and sacrifice really mean. So that's what we're trying to do um, at the Saco Bay Center. We're a nonprofit organization that's housed out of the Bitterford Saco Chamber of Commerce. Um, I know when uh, Joe Armstrong basically uh, came over to Bitterford from, uh, from Sanford uh, and brought the, the Vietnam Vets of America chapter with him, uh, we knew this was going to be a great collaboration. Uh, there's a lot of great veterans and veteran support organizations, not only in our area, but across the state. And sometimes it's just important to connect. It's important to collaborate, to see what can we do by working together. Um, and that's exactly what our Support Our Heroes Committee is all about. We welcome anybody in this room, anybody that's connected to veterans, anybody who is a veteran, to participate. Maybe you have an idea of what, what we need, what you need, what can, what can we help you with. Um, I know whether it be a resource fair, whether it be the rally, whether it be a, a presentation like this with the documentary, you know, the sky's the limit. I know some of us have talked about doing something after either the Memorial or Veterans Day parades as a way of educating the populace, so it's not just about going to the parade, which is important because some people don't even know the parade is happening, um, but also make sure that there's an educational piece to that. You know, that's really important too, because again, it's one thing to read it in a textbook in school, it's another thing to actually say, you know what, this guy served our community, served our country. That kind of connection is, is so important. Um, so that's what we're going to continue to do. And again, I implore anybody that wants to get involved in that, any organization is welcome. This is sort of the first collaboration out of it. We've done sort of a few events here and there over the years with Sandy Taylor, if you know her, with the Gold Star Wives, um, Gold Star Wives chapter. Uh, she couldn't be here today. I know she wanted to be, but uh, she's feeling the cold, which a lot, of, a lot of people are going through right now. Uh, so briefly, before we get to the, the next speaker, I just wanted to say some of the things that we were able to do at the state level, and there's never a never-ending list of issues that we have to resolve, so this is just a drop in the bucket, I know, but it's important to kind of let you know what's, what's happening at the state level. Uh, this past legislative session, there's a few things that actually, I think, were very positive things. Again, more needs to be done, and we can have a conversation about that right after this. Um, the elimination of the income tax on pensions for military families for the state. That was important. The, the allowance of Vietnam veterans in particular to receive existing veterans' property tax exemptions that their counterparts from other conflicts uh, were able to access. That passed. So that's it. Um, we also made sure that we could provide a gravestone for, de for deceased veterans with no next of kin. Uh, again, that might seem like a minor thing, but for a lot of families that was really important. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we honor the service of authentic veterans by making false claims of military service a crime. And, and that could be a Um, I, won't, I won't belabor this any longer, so I just really, again, want to thank each and every one of you for your service and the families that are here today as well. Events like this are really important. I hope we can continue this. Uh, this is one step in the right direction. Let's continue that, that effort, and anything that I can do to be of a resource to you, let me know. You can call me. You can email me. You can do any, anything. We'll meet for coffee, whatever you need. So uh, I'm here as a resource for you, so just know that you can call me anytime. Thank you, everybody, for coming.